Hi, my name is Utpalan Rak and this is video of week 1, experiment 1. Before proceeding, it is my ID. Uh, I think it will appear on the screen. So now, come back to the topic. I have divided this experiment into 3 steps. In the first step, we make the list of all the components that we needed for the experiment. In the second step, we go in detail of each of the components, how they were, how we are going to use in our experiment. Okay. In the third step, we make our circuit and take out all the element, breadboard, voltmeter and all others and make out our circuit and take the values and plot the graph. So now let's dive into the first step. So this is the first step of experiment. So the first component that we need is the voltmeter. We are using it to measure resist resistance and voltage in the experiment. Now the second component that we use is IC7400. It has 4 NAND gate, but we are using only one in this experiment. The third device is the trim board. We are using this in our experiment to get a variable resistance. And the fourth component that we need is breadboard, which we are using to make our circuit. And the fifth component that we need is ADLM kit, which we are using as a power source in this experiment. So now let's move to the steps two. So this is IC7400 which has 4 NAND gate but we are going to use the NAND gate present between pin 1 and pin 3 where pin 1 and pin 2 are input and pin 3 will be our output. There is a notch present at the top of this IC. From the left of this notch the pins present are pin 1 to pin 7 and in the right of this notch the pins present are pin 14 to pin 8. So now the next component is breadboard. So breadboard is an area of connection in which horizontal pins are sorted in the fashion shown here and similarly vertical pins are also sorted and not sorted between each other the import is a three terminal device which we use to get the fixed resistance across the extreme terminal but if we have to get variable resistance we can tap out the intermediate terminal with any of the extreme terminal to get our desired value so the value of r can be adjusted by using the screw here but now the question is how we are going to connect our trim port in this breadboard particularly like this or horizontally like this which is correct the first one was incorrect because if we connect our trim port in vertical manner horizontal manner then it will get sorted if we and we are not able to use it so we connect in it in a particular manner. This is our multimeter. We configure it to measure any voltage, resistance, current and whatever we want. So we configure it to measure resistance. Before this, there are two probes in it, a red and a black. What we have done is we have connected a red probe to voltage node and a black probe to ground node. And now we connect this to our extreme terminal of trim port and configure it to measure resistance. So what we see, it is showing some 982. Now, what if we have to use variable resistance of any value we want between 1 ohm to 1000 ohm. We can simply put this out and connect it to the intermediate terminal and take out our screw. So now by value is in 535. Now we are going to tune this. When you tune it clockwise direction, the value goes down and when we tune it in anti-clockwise direction, the value goes up. So by tuning this, we can change the resistance in our circuit. So this is step uh, 3 of the experiment. Now we are going to plug in our IC with uh, enough clearance for wiring and routing we have connected this ic in the center line but otherwise it will get sorted in order to make our connection we take out our wire and also we take out our stripper to strip the wire we measure the length of the wire. we measure the length and Cut it. 
skip the both ends and connected pin 14 to the PCC and pin 7 to the ground. So for convention, we have taken a red wire as VCC and a blue wire as ground. And uh, now we connect our trim in this circuit. So the trim port connection is made now. So both the extreme terminal, one of the extreme terminal goes to VCC and other extreme terminal goes to the ground. And the intermediate one goes to pin 2. So for connecting this, we take our yellow wire and make our connection. intermediate is connected to pin 2 now the last thing we have to do is to we have to make the connection of pin 1 to the vcc so measure the length of the wire we need and connect it So before proceeding in the experiment, we have to check the continuity of uh, our connection. So we take out our multimeter with two probes and adjust its knob to the this uh, diode icon and check our connectivity. So we can hear a beep sound here. It means it is correct. Now we, we check our uh, pin 14 connection. Again, it is beeping, and the last one is our pin 8 connection, pin 7 connection with the ground. See? Yeah, all fine, and uh, now we can proceed in our experiment. So, now we have connected our uh, 5 volt uh, and the ground to this uh, breadboard, and uh, we have connected this red probe to pin 2, which is also the input and uh, this black probe to the ground of this circuit. We can see that it is showing some 0 0.02 volt. By tuning this, we can change our V input. You can see like it's changing. So now the input is showing some 0 0.3 and the output is showing 4.31 volt. So similarly, we change our V in and V out value and take out all the data and plot the graph. You can see the plotting and the data at the end of this video. Thank you.